In back in my day news. Back in my day. I can't wait to say that. I feel like I'm turning into that shit right now, dude. Oh, yeah. oh. Been saying that. We've been saying that all day. <laughs> all no, day. But, but different, different type of way. Back in my day. A little more condemning. I want yeah. that shit. You know? Submitted by Y'all Beautiful. Hey. Thank you very much. Here are eight things kids born in 2018 will never experience oh. thanks to technology. Pay phones. Oh yeah. It's so, like printing oh, yeah. pictures. That one and then the like when you call someone it's like busy. Like de, de, de. Oh, yeah, yeah, home phones. You know who does that? My fucking dad. He doesn't pay for call waiting. Fucking loser. When I call him, so if he's on the phone with some relatives in Asia, when I call him, it's like beep, 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 and I'll keep calling back every 30 minutes. I know he's having a like two hour con uh, long conversation and he doesn't even pay for call waiting. He builds probably like a $2 <laughs> upgrade or something. Well, have you seen in the airports, they switch out all the pay phones to like, Charging stations? Yes, charging stations. Oh, that's Kids will never remember that, like, that's where you would pay 25 cents. Yeah, well, for call. this list, we're talking about kids that are born in this year that will be 18, like, 18 years from now. Oh. Taika's! Oh. Yeah, that's what I said, like, Taika's generation. But he's 2017, so he's one year older than all those guys. Yeah, he's, he's, not the, he's not ahead really of old, everyone. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna know he's three dark. months more information than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what a pager is. He doesn't know what anything <laughs> is right now. So we're talking about things that we know today that these glasses, people don't know. poor vision. Number one, <laughs> paper money. By what? the time people oh, are born shit. today, they will not know paper money. Really? Dom. But it feels so good. I don't want paper money to disappear. That's I don't either. Because there is nothing like having a stack of cash yep. and slapping it on a bare ass. Yep. <laughs> what? They're gonna go to the strip club and fucking make it rain by going like this. I know, it's so boring. What if they have I'll big... PayPal you and then okay. mail you. Kinda like Chuck E. Cheese tickets, but bigger and then... Or like Vegas like... chips. But like just cash. Oh. Like so I can still make it rain, but then yeah. the strippers and. And that rain. right there is a assumption. For sure, but this entire list is an on assumption. Their phone. Okay. The entire list is an assumption. But it's a goal of almost every country, though. I mean, yes, China's already pretty much cashless. So it's a it's a pretty yeah, educated yeah. assumption. Especially with Millions like of people. with like cryptocurrency and everything. All right, All right everybody. Japan's Destroy trying to my be dreams. Cashless Let's continue. By 2020. But I feel like America is pretty late on the game. I mean. Come on, we we're haven't changed our thing. We yeah, we laid on everything. Yeah. So I mean, number two, getting a driver's license. Huh? What? We will not need driver's license. Because everything's gonna be automated. Well, because there's a shit ton of self-driving cars, and then the, the rise of helicopter parents and concerns of about personal safety. I what? cannot wait till the day I don't ever have to drive. You're Nobody doing that do right that. now. I have a Tesla. <laughs> I still have to drive a Tesla. He has a Tesla. Like who drives you? What's a helicopter parent? People are always like, oh, hovering over the kids. Yeah. Oh. They hover over the kids. Yeah. I think I'm. I'll I'm send the driver to pick that. you up. No, you're not. I am. I don't let Isaac have a like. I don't let that's him. That's not a helicopter. Explore the internet. I don't let no, him. That's have, just. That's, that's not a helicopter. Parenting. I don't let him. If no. he's on the bicycle, I don't, I don't let him go out on the street. No. <laughs> No, that's what kind of parent are you if you go on his browser and you purposely make porno sites as new bookmarks? <laughs> then you're fucking wow. going to jail. Yeah, what is the opposite? <laughs> you're a motorcycle parent. No, my friend's like that, so I'm just figuring out what you're he's called. You're a motorcycle called. parent. I'm trying to figure out how to label them. You want them to go fast. You're called an absent parent, dude. <laughs> Yeah, so they're saying that by 2036, which is 18 years from now, uh, the vast majority of cars will be self-driving and Oh, I we can't won't need wait. Driver's license anymore. How boring. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck, dude. Just to go in my car and just be like, all right, I'm just gonna go. And then it just takes me there. That means I could do whatever the fuck I want within my car and not worry about shit. That's pretty And also accidents aren't my fault. Oh yeah, you stupid need to robot. not drive. Like that. Exactly. It's a stupid robot's fault. Yeah, you you have no You know what? They're saying that traffic will be gone if everything was automated. Holy. Yeah. That'd be tight. That'd be Hopefully. really good for here. Because everything's like, it'll be like ants. Everything's like And we all feel each other's cars yep. so they never bump into no each other. No accident, yep. Everything's in uni. And you don't have the fucking people that go on a fucking red light behind another car, but instead of going right behind them, they're like three cars behind them. I'm right. like, why? Oh, that's I hate that. Mm -hmm. like my Who mom. here does that? My mom, mom does. Oh, fuck it, it irks me like crazy. She stops the minute she starts seeing the stop sign. 
She starts slowing down. Oh my god, like halfway. And then she's just creeping all the way and tells us that. That's still okay. I just hate when there's like a car here and then the other car is here. And four yeah. cars between them. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's so rude for the people behind that's what my I mom hate does. when they do that in, in the freeway and there's fucking traffic. Yeah, that too. I always go in front. If you can see Why? the car in front of you, back tires, you're good. You're as far as you need to be. Yeah. Um, I was really thinking about it like when my lease is up, I'm just gonna Uber everywhere. That's tight. Cause I just don't like driving. I fucking hate it. So you never get the creepos? No. Do you guys ever I'm, get the creepos? I'm, oh. I'm the creepo in the car. Every single Uber driver I get is a creepo. You know what I wish though? I wish I was I would be able to ball out and every Uber I order is just like a seven eight passenger SUV and I'm the only person sitting in the back. Itself. That'd be tight. <laughs> but tell me about those creepos. Are yeah, they creeping? they're weird. One of them asked me, they're, it started off with me having a banana, or no, having a water bottle. You can't have, you have, have any, oh, well you started the conversation started right when you went to the banana and you're like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I looked him in the eye, no, yeah. no. I put the water bottle away and I'm like, don't worry, I'm not gonna leave my trash. And he goes, oh, the guy before you left a banana. And I was like, I didn't think anything about it, but then he's like, he left all his other trash. And I said, some people just don't know social norms. Yeah. And he jumped from that to say he was with this girl who was talking about how she makes money doing social media stuff. So then he thought she was just a call girl who wasn't calling herself a call girl. So then he jumps into how he's a sex therapist. And then he talks about how he gets a lot of girls who come to LA with big dreams who turn to porn because they get paid a lot because they don't have self-confidence. And this whole time I'm like, he just wants to talk to me about his sex addiction. That's all he wow. talked about. Oh. Did you think he was trying to work you? You think he was trying to work you or he just wants to vent? So my Uber wasn't working, so my husband called me an Uber. So I came out of his car with a bag of clothes. So I looked like, I don't know, maybe he thought in his head You're I was a, a call girl, yeah. And then he was like, uh, how much money? Oh, he's trying to engage. Uh, yes. And then the second one, as soon as my friend, we took the same Uber, she got out and out of fucking nowhere, the guy goes, I just want to get so ripped that she takes the slit in her dress, her dress, rips it all the way up and has sex with me. And I'm like, out of nowhere? Well, that is and I didn't have any time to like record it. Yes, Dang. thank you, always. That is high, I wish that would happen to me. Wait, how, he wants to get so ripped? He's like, like I just want to get, so, yeah, like yeah. jacked, like in shape, out of Sometimes I'll be trying to talk to my Uber driver and they tell me to be quiet. <laughs> I'm like, hey guy, how are you doing? He goes, not today, man. And I'm like, all right. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, buddy. My girlfriend uh, used to drive <laughs> Uber and Lyft, and then a guy asked her how much. <gasps> Dang. Inappropriate. Super. I was like, you should have said fucking five grand. Ew. Did all you right. Tell me to get out Number of three. Uh, getting a weekend job will no longer be a thing that kids born today will be doing. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What is a weekend job? So, you know, like, back in the day, you'll get your driver's license at 17, and then you'll get a job at, like, the burger joint. At McDonald's or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and then oh, just you're going to, to school get, Monday through Friday. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then just get a weekend job. And so they're saying that in 1980, 70% of teens had summer jobs. Oh, yeah. Today, it's about 40%, and it's falling. So less and less teens are getting jobs. And especially hmm. with, like, if you give it another 18 years, there's gonna be robots doing a lot of the shit that teens are doing. That's true, like teens used to bag groceries, but then now it's just gonna be all automated. So there's but no also, teen jobs like, anymore. job opportunities have changed now, you know? So uh, those those like part-time jobs, like some people didn't even want to have to finish high school to have a working job and have a family and a house back in the day. So that's that's a different story completely. Y you know what I mean? So I, I, don't, I don't think that really equates what to What are you. they gonna do for work? Seriously. They can I mean, live with their parents forever. Social media, Not like a lot of kids. They're gonna there. create apps. Apps for everything. Yeah, they're gonna create apps. All right, number four, language barriers. There will be less oh, language barriers. Oh, because those translators and yeah, shit. Yeah, there's a shit ton of like translators you just put into your ear, and then you could speak to people that speak different Man, languages. Man, I keep telling myself I want to learn a fucking third language, but it's so hard. What language, Swahili? How long have you known us for? <laughs> Huh? How long have you known us for? Seven years. That's how long you've been saying it. Yeah. You've been saying it for Ever seven years. Don't yep. you know you don't accomplish any of your goals? Yep. Oh, no. That's funny. Who's the one that made a movie in this room? Ooh, we're gonna do it. Oh, just, Justin did. Justin did. <laughs> no, actually, it was me and him together. So. Wow, you made him, you hit him hard. He got so yeah. defensive. I'll give him a hug after. That's the fucking goal right there. Anyways. All right, the next one. Staying in one place. <laughs> 
thing in one place is the next one, which means uh, I faced that shit since elementary school. I can't fucking sit still for shit. No, it means traveling. <laughs> Will not be a thing. Traveling will not be no, a no, thing. No, no, no. So staying in one place will not be a thing. Oh, okay. People travel more. Oh, it's they will be traveling for... way more, especially with uh, Elon Musk. How he proposes having these rockets that will take you anywhere in the planet for in less than an hour. Wow. That's so, fucking crazy. Yeah. Love... So then, by the time our kids reach eighteen, everyone will be just jumping between the entire world. Easily. They're saying a lot of my dreams, though. <laughs> like I don't want to drive, and I want to travel somewhere really quick. That's, that's just, just it. Yeah. They didn't get rid of TSA though, because it, it might take you an hour to get to fucking <laughs> okay. Paris, but it's only like hours. four hours still to even get on the rocket. Because they were talking about the public transportation where they were saying that you can get from San Francisco to LA or whatever. Oh, yeah, what happened to that? Yeah, like that was supposed to happen, and we dipped a lot of money into that shit. I didn't know. And so I wouldn't mind like living in Sacramento and just traveling to LA every fucking day if I have to. Did it get yeah. canceled or what happened to it? No, it, they took. Like a billion dollars for it. Like so it's not oh, it's still being worked. Oh. Dang. It's not built yet, nope. right? Exactly. That's what like about the money. hyperloop? Aren't they working on that? But that's that that's so Elon okay. Musk shit though. That How much part is of that? No. No, this is like a government thing. They're supposed to build a train. How much are the rocket tickets gonna cost though? You know, know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna be expensive. They say it's as affordable. No, yeah. no as like going to New York. Like an economic economic plane ticket. Yeah. Anyway, next that's one. Weird. Dying before 100, that will no longer be a thing. Oh yeah. People are living longer now, especially with technology, <laughs> inventing new drugs. Even if people are living a reckless lifestyle. Well, I mean. It's gonna be like alter carbon. Fuck Dude, look yeah. at all the rich people. They're living long and they're fucking reckless. That. <laughs> Wait, how old was Hugh Heffy when he passed away? Fucking dinosaur. 87? Oh, 87? Something like that. No, I thought he was 90. 90? I'm thinking. Yeah, he was in his 90s. 90s. Because if I lived up to his age and his life, it's not bad. Because he was still very coherent. That's okay. You know what I mean? I just don't want to be like 90. You still have your mind. Yeah. And your like, body. Exactly. I don't want to like be drooling into a you cup. Hugh Hefner. No. How old was he when he was? But the way things are going. <laughs> might happen. To him. He was 91. Dang. I was yeah. way off. My grandpa was 97 or 98 when he passed away. Dang. He was almost 100, that old fuck. Damn. Imagine all of us though being a hundred, being like, "What are we gonna do now? Like, what? What's fun?" No, you get to travel all over the planet. But your body rocket. at a hundred, at seventy. I don't no, that's why they're saying like now it's gonna be better because of all the new technology. I think yeah, it, you could replace your bones with titanium metal. <laughs> yeah, like three D printed organs. I think like ninety seven yeah. and ninety eight years old, dude. Like, I feel like every day I wake up, I'm just saying, Psh, "Guess I'm not dead." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because like you're expecting to die at that point. Yeah. Everything you would... still here? <laughs> Shit. You know. <laughs> That's what, doing. what am I gonna do today? Yeah. All right, I'm number a, I'm seven. I'm gonna fucking chill. <laughs> number seven is having any privacy that will be gone. Because oh, yeah. with all this shit that's happening, like the whole Cambridge Analytica Facebook debacle, We're gonna how chips. they like take they took like all the Facebook information, like they know everything about your life through that. I think I can find privacy. You know nothing about. So there's nothing going off the grid. They can't like. They're saying that in 18 years from now, it's gonna be impossible to have That's any crazy. privacy. Damn, that is I know crazy. a couple of places in this world that has no reception. <laughs> one is the elevator. One is the no, elevator, the elevator and the other one is also Shinsengumi. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Fucking Our shit. favorite shabu shabu yep. spot. That place has no reception ever. Ever. You know what blew yeah. my mind? Usually the casino floor has no reception, but at the Aria, that shit was on point. I was like, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, the last one on this list is living in a world with poverty. That will be gone in 18 yeah, right. years. Really? I feel like it's because there's worse. like way new. There's new types of food, lab-grown meat, genetically modified crops. I mean, we could do away with world hunger right now. No. We can yeah. do it now, but, but no one wants to do it. Yeah. That's very true. We have way more than enough food. Yeah, there should be no hunger. There shouldn't. In where, no. But the problem is getting it there. They just can't move it, move it Quick to enough. the air. Yeah. I'm so excited to see what the world's gonna be like though in 2036. Cause just look, 18 years back from today. It wasn't that. 2000. Different. I was kidding. Was it 18? 2000. 
That's when everyone thought the world was gonna end. Yeah, I remember. We yeah. stocked up. Anybody else stocked up on stuff? I did not stock up. My dad said it was a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. He was right. Yeah, my dad's like bullshit. <laughs> and then I was like, all right. <laughs> what would what would his expression have been if like it was like Y two K time? He still wouldn't have apologized. <laughs> oh really? He wouldn't have been like, oh shit. No, he would just been like, come on, he's Korean. Okay. He's like, <laughs> okay. I told you yeah. it was gonna happen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Didn't I tell you stupid? You got lucky, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I oh, love your dad. Oh my god. You're 2000, man. He sounds like something. I forgot about that. Y2K. People like bought all the fucking yep. water bottles. They bought all the supplies out of Walmart. It was In 18 insane. years, no one will even remember Y2K and what that stood for. Oh like, yeah. No why why was know. Y2K so scary? Because it was the resetting saying, of the computer binary code or some shit yeah. like that, right? And it was gonna reset and it was gonna like fuck everything up. Because of the zeros? Something. I well, forgot. No, because yeah. they forgot to input Y to K or some shit like that. Right? Like that was one of the- We were totally fine. I don't know. We made it. We survived. We survived Y2K.